Chapter 9 Smugglers, Salt and Diamonds The day breaks and gentle waves are lapping on the shore. Holder jumps up and sticking his head out of the cockpit, he realizes he has anchored too close to the shore and the tide is going out. He wastes no time and fires up the engine and raises the anchor. He heads out to the channel and raises the main. The little sloop sails up the long arm of Shelburne Harbour on this beautiful early morning. It's so good to feel the warm air and shelter from the land. The sloop sails into the old inner harbour. They have some guest moorings for sailors and Holdout pulls into the wind, drops the sails and ties up. There are a few yachts and boats in his inner harbour. On land are a few old historic wooden buildings and there is a two-masted schooner docked at the long wharf. Safe and secure at anchor in this sheltered haven, the weary sailor collapses again into his bunk and sleeps a deep sleep. Please sign up to access the rest of this audiobook for free and experience the wild coast of Nova Scotia.